hello everybody and welcome back to my channel i'm in a very different setup right now i'm in an airbnb currently because i'm currently having a little break away with connor and noah for the first time which is so so lovely we've been up to norwich to see Iceman's elia so of course that meant we headed to primark i also headed to primark yesterday in cambridge the cambridge one i don't rate wasn't as great norwich one there's a new one and it's massive so this is where this stuff came from so i've got a few bags i've got three bags of items to show you i've got pretty much mainly stuff for me obviously but i do have a little baby as well but i'll do those bits at the end just in case you're not interested you don't have to watch that so we've actually got one two three primark bags which is insane but where i live on the isle of wight we do not have a primark so when i go to primark i make sure i get a lot of things and I make sure we can do a haul because I know Primark hauls are one of your guys' favourites. They're one of my guys, my guys' favourites. They're one of my favourites. So I think we should just get on to the video. If you are new to my channel, then please don't forget to subscribe down below. Follow my Instagram, which will be in the description box as well down below because that's where you're going to see a lot of these things in action. I'm so much more active on Instagram, so I'd love to see you over there as well. Let's get into the video. So as I said, I don't get to Primark much and they had some lovely summer pieces in, like when I say summer, I mean like holiday pieces, like swimwear. So I'm heading to Dubai in April. And like I said, I don't get to Primark much. I don't get there often. So I thought I'd just stock up on some swimwear because they have some really, really nice new in pieces on that side of things, some holiday beach pieces. So I've got a few things from there. I haven't tried anything on, so I will be trying things on with you guys. I don't know if I'm going to be trying on the swimwear just because I'm not feeling too great in my body right now. Um, but we'll see. I can, I can probably insert some photos or something. So, let's just go from the top of the bag. First up, we have this swimsuit. Now, I got them all in a size 10. I don't know how they're going to fit. Um, but yeah, it's this zebra print one. And then it's got this, like, brown... They're not buckles, but they're kind of just like a... I don't know, a piece of the suit. The swimsuit. Um, and I really like the, like, tortoise shell with this. I think it just looks really, really nice. It does look quite big, so I don't know if I should have got a size 8. I'm not sure. <sighs> it's just me out of it, but it probably will fit me, to be honest. But then I'm hoping to lose weight. So I I just don't know <laughs> where we're going to be at. But yeah, I really, really like this. This was £12. I did pick up a few swimsuits. I don't tend to wear swimsuits when I go on holiday, but I'm feeling since having Noah, I probably will be in some swimsuits, to be honest. Um, but we'll see. I love this one. So this is the first one I picked up. I then picked up this bikini. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to fit again. So the top looks really small. Like, I don't know if my nipples are going to hang out of this, but I love it. I love the khaki olive kind of tones. I have green eyes as well, so I like these colours on. They're very complimentary with my eyes. See, so yeah, it's like this really nice polka dot one. It's, it looks like it's going to be like a half cup, so I don't know if it's going to be too small. But then the pants, I would imagine these are high-waisted because they are really big. The only thing is these don't look very flattering on the back. I will try them on. I'll let you know how I, how I feel in them, what I think. And if I feel all right in them, I will insert some clips or insert some photos. The pants were £5 and the top was £8, so it's still a really affordable bikini. And it's good that you can buy them separately because then you can choose, like, between sizes. And then the last, is it the last swimsuit I picked up? I think it is. Um, is this olive striped one. I feel like stripes can be very flattering. And this says it's a secret slimming swimsuit with enhanced power mesh. I probably should have got a size down if that was going to be the case. It does look quite long, like body-wise, so I don't know if it's going to... Like, that looks like it's going to be really big on me. We'll see. We'll see. It might not be. It might just be a little bit deceiving. And this one was £8, so a bargain, really. And there is cups in the top, but you can take them out if you want. But yeah, I really, really like this. I think it's super cute. I might wear this in the hot tub tonight. We've got a hot tub at our Airbnb. Um, so I think that would look really cute. Some of the stuff I've already gone through because I have just been chilling out and stuff. So the next up I have some hair bubbles. Um, there was another nude one that came with that. I don't actually know where it's gone. Uh, but I liked, I really actually got it for this sporty one because I really like this colour. And this is a nice colour as well. And I feel like scrunchies are a really good. Since having my hair chemically straightened, I don't really want to be wearing too tight of hairbands that are going to make my hair kink. Um, so yeah, I've got some scrunchies and these were only £2. So you can't go wrong. They have so many different colours and things like that. So... Yeah, honestly, there's no order to this haul because it's all split into different bags. So, yeah, I do apologise for that. Also, this, what I'm wearing, is from Primark as well. I think I might have got another colour in it. I think I could have got a grey one. It was from the pyjama section. I think it was about two or three pounds or five pounds. 
I can't remember exactly, but they're really, really comfortable and the spaghetti strap on it is really, really cute. This looks really nice with joggers, which I've got on two, which aren't from Primark, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that. I then also picked up some fluffy socks. Well, they're not fluffy socks, they're cosy socks and you get a grey and a light pink version. I've worn the light pink ones, which is why they're not in the packet. But yeah, I just love these kind of socks. I hate not wearing socks, so I'm always looking for things like this. I did also pick up some other ones, which I'll probably get to at some point. I don't know where it is. So yeah, a necessity when you go to Primark. And again, they were only £2.50, so you can't go wrong. Next up, I got a headband because, again, I love these things. Especially when I'm just, like, chilling around the house or doing my makeup. I find them really handy just to have. But again, I think these are really good to wear on holiday with like a bikini just to get your hair out your face when you're going in the sea, in the sun, just chilling out. Again, two pounds. Can't go wrong. Next up, I picked up this long sleeved stretchy crew neck top. It's in like a grey white colour. I just find these are so easy to pair with jeans, leather trousers to like wear underneath a coat or to wear with joggers because I'm always looking for things that are tight fitted but are gonna look flattering and these are just exactly it. I wanted to get a black one but they didn't have my size. I did actually get it in a two extra small because it, it still looks quite big and I like them to be quite tight rather than baggy. So yeah, again, £3.50, can't go wrong. Easy, everyday, staple. So I love them for that as well. Okay, so in Primark they have some really, really nice gym wear at the moment and I'm really trying to get back into the gym. I've gone a bit off the, off the bandwagon this week since being away but I get back into it. I saw this set and I thought it was really, really cute. It's just obviously this like gray blue color with the dusky pink and then it's got nude on the back. They didn't actually have my size. This isn't an extra small. I would normally go for a small, but they were very limited on sizing. I find that all the gym wear is always in large or extra large. Um, so I found the leggings in the Cambridge store, which I'll show you next. Um, but I love this set. I think it's really, really cute. I love the colours. And they had so many different, like, styles of gym wear and colours and stuff like that. So, highly recommend checking it out if you are looking for some gym wear. It looked really, really nice as well. So, yeah, I got the matching leggings. They were, they did have some alternative styles that were, like, the same sort of pattern. But I went with these ones. Um, I think I got these in a small. Yeah, I did. And they've just got the dark grey, the dusky pink, and then the nude on the back. And I think they're nice because they're quite subtle, subtle in the colours, but they are still obviously not just boring black and white. Um, I mean, I, I don't think I'd go for white gym wear because that wouldn't be too flattering on me. But I just feel like these are nice colours to wear. Oh, okay. I've got this strappy top that I've got on in... Oh, no, this is different. Mine, The one I've got on is ribbed. But this one is almost the same. It's just... This white strappy spaghetti strap top. This is in an extra small and it was £3. So they're just easy. Again, like I said, the way I picture them is with some joggers. That's how I would style them myself. And again, so easy. Such staples for your wardrobe. Okay. So next up, we have another just basic stretch tee. And this one's just a short sleeve one. This is again in an extra small, but I do feel like it looks quite big. And again, I just live in joggers. So I always look for things that are going to look all right with joggers. So obviously joggers are quite baggy on the bottom, so I kind of like to have something a bit more fitted on the top. And this also covers the bit of my arms that I don't like. So these are so easy for me to put on. I love them. Um, and they're £2.50. So again, you're not breaking the bank here. Primark has still got the cheap bits. I know it's got a bit expensive in different departments, but they're still good. Okay, so the one I've got on right now... Uh, also I got in grey. This one's actually in a size medium because I didn't have any smalls left so it might be a little bit baggier but they're so so comfortable and they've kind of designed it with like an under layer so I would imagine you, it's because you don't need to wear a bra and like I said these ones were in the pyjama section so yeah they're ribbed on the top and they're just so perfect for everyday lounging. Easy to like wear with joggers and stuff like I've already said but um, yeah, they're perfect. And these were three pounds. I was right. They are three pounds. So these are the socks I was talking about. Lounge underwear released some socks like this. Very similar. Um, and I love them. So I saw these ones and I loved the little pink check. I thought they were so lovely. So I picked these up and again, three pounds. Luxury socks. I love things like this. I live in socks like this. So I, I'm very happy. And then super duper boring. But I also picked up some socks because I never have any socks. So here we are. Two packets of brand new pairs, and I'm really excited about that. And then finally, I picked up these sunglasses because, again... And then finally, I picked up these sunglasses for Dubai. I'm quite lucky in the sense where a lot of sunglasses kind of suit my face shape, and I really liked the tortoise shell on these. I literally love these so much. They're going to look so cute on holiday with the swimsuits. 
especially this one with the tortoise shell i know they're a little bit of different colors tortoise tortoise shell but i think this is gonna look so cute it's a vibe i'm ready for summer i hate winter i mean i like winter up until christmas and then after christmas it's just a no from me so yeah i really like these actually and to be honest it's very sunny so you can still wear these in winter i like the whole look with a beanie and then some like sunglasses i think that's cute but yeah i really like these i think they were very cheap again i think probably about three pounds they were actually two pounds so that's so good right let's go what bag this bag i also picked up a belt because i did buy a belt from topshop not that long ago like a proper one a nice expensive one but connor stole it off me so i just picked up a two pound belt from primark and it's just so easy to put on with everything so that's also an essential i feel like i've just stuck to some proper basics in this but they're always the things that i need so yeah i then picked up these because i live in the primark sports bras the ones that are in the set of gray black and white also if you're pregnant or breastfeeding they're really really comfortable um so yeah i got these they're 10 pounds and i just got the white ones they do have removable cups i got them in a medium i probably could have got a small but um yeah i love these they're so comfortable they're so easy to wear and i hate wearing bras especially bras with wires so these are the thing i go for more often than not Aisha and zelia convinced me to get some slippers because they wear slippers all the time they have these really nice fluffy ones but i ended up getting these like i said i hate wearing bare feet so connor thought it'd be a good idea for me to pick up some slippers um so i did i'm gonna wear these in a minute actually i think i'm way too hot for that i don't know why it's so warm in here i think it's because the sun is literally directly in this room but yeah i got mine in a size five to six um i'm normally size four but I think I'll prefer my slippers to be a bit bigger. So yeah, they're comfy, they're cute, and they're memory foam as well. And I like, oh, I just hit myself in the face. I like how they're a nice neutral nude colour because that is right up my street. Okay, so I also picked up some new pyjamas. I always get pyjamas at the moment. I'm, I'm just obsessed. And I thought these ones were cute. They're just like this brown leopard print kind of vibe. But it's not like really in your face that it's leopard print. And they're trousers. I love trouser pyjamas more than shorts. Um, but I got the, they're like short sleeved, aren't they? So yeah, like a vest. And I like the silky feel, they're really nice and cozy. Well, they're not cozy, but they're comfy. And these were 12 pounds. This sort of material is really good for like spring and summer pajamas too, because obviously it's not too thick and warm. Um, so yeah, I really like them actually. I then picked up this to put like my hair extensions in, or like when I'm away now, my skincare. Very spacious. It would even be good for holiday to take to put bikinis in because it's that um, material where it's going to be waterproof. So yeah, that's fab. For shampoos and conditioners, like I said, when you're going away, this is perfect. The last bits in there are for Noah. So sticking on the holiday vibe. Oh, I've got this all squished. Oh well, I'll sort it out. Um, I picked up this hat because I love a hat for holiday. There we go. That's so cute. Oh my god. This looks like summer vibes right now and I'm so here for it. Where are the sunglasses? Winter who? We don't know her. <laughs> Get me on holiday now, honestly. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Um, so yeah, this is really, really nice. I like the colour of the straw and I think it looks quite sophisticated with the black. Um, so yeah, I love, I love a straw hat. So yeah, it was only £4. I just think it's super cute and super easy to wear in the summer months and on holiday. And then I also picked up these, which are some really nice sandals. Again, like I said, for holiday, even though my holiday's in like three months, I'm hoping it will come around really, really quickly. I got them in a size four and they were six pounds. I thought, I just think they're really, really cute. They also did them in like a nudie sort of color, I think, or a brown, but I like black because so I think black is classic. I do have quite wide feet, so I was a bit worried, but the buckle is adjustable, so I think they'll be just fine and they feel quite comfortable the strap isn't like plastic it's quite um i don't know how to describe it it's quite malleable so it shouldn't rub my feet because i find that happens with sandals quite often and then i just picked up two sets of these hangers because once i have my filming room set up i have these already at home i just want all the little hangers on my rail to be the same so I just picked up two more of them. I love these, they're so pretty and they look really good on a white rail. And these are the vibes for my filming room. I've got some really nice prints from Desenio that I'm gonna put up. So stay tuned for that. I will do that at some point over the next few months. It's taking us a while. We've been in the house since October. No, end of September, I think. And yeah, we still haven't got around to finishing it, but we'll get there. <laughs> so yeah, that's all the bits for myself I picked up. 
Now a few bits for Noah. So first of all, I picked up this sleeping bag because he uses these to sleep in because he just kicks the blanket off. Great tip for any mums that have the same problem. Um, but he has got, he already has one, but it's kind of not long enough. It's quite wide, but it's not long enough. Um, so I just got this one and it's just really cute. It says, mummy's a little sleepy head. And that is exactly what he is. He literally sleeps from 8 p.m. to 7 p.m. Um, 7 a.m. And it's great. I also got this blanket. Now I thought it was going to be a bit smaller than it is, but I love myself a cozy blanket. So it's not going to waste. It was a kid's blanket, so maybe that's why. But yeah, it's just like this cloud print i just think it's so cute and then it's fluffy on the other side so yeah i love that i think it's super cute um but obviously a bit too big for noah and then i got him this little zip up top which is just so so sweet he has lots of trousers and sometimes i find it hard to put, like find a top that's warm enough to not have to wear a coat um so yeah i'd obviously put a vest or a long sleeve vest underneath anyway but i just thought it was really cute and then it's like fluffy on the top on the inside and I don't know, it just looks quite sweet. And I thought it'd look cute in it. Well, I mean, he looks cute in everything, so. And then this, I'm really like, oh, I don't want to dress him in clothes that are like proper clothes. I like the baby stuff. But this is so cute. He's obviously gonna have, I wouldn't wear it done up, I'd have it undone. So he had like that cool little cute look about him. Uh, but I just thought it was so sweet. And they are in three to six months. They might be a little bit too big at the minute, but I mean, he's five months. And he has started to put on the pounds. So, yeah, I think it'll be all right. And I just think it'll keep, look cute with some joggers and a vest and just open. I just think it would look really cute and a little beanie. That's the vibe. Oh, I did get some new hats, um, but they're not in this room. So I'm not going to show you. And then we got him this little jumper. I'm not going to lie. The boy's stuff in Primark is nowhere near as nice as the girl's stuff. Well, to be honest, it's the same for everywhere. It's so annoying. But this is so cute as well. I just thought a little sweatshirt with some animals on you can't go wrong it's just so sweet and innocent and cute and kiddie like and then i got him some little gloves they are more gloves than mittens obviously they don't have fingers on this one but um a lot of them are just like the scoop ones and they just fall off his hands so i feel like these might be a little bit easier because when he's in the pram he does have a blanket and stuff on but he always wants his hands out and his hands always end up getting really cold um, so I thought these could be quite handy. And then we got him this little onesie, which we tried on him the other day and it's a bit big. Um, but it's just a little sleep suit. And again, it's got cute little animals on and then stars. And it's that um, like velour fabric. It's really cute. The, pro uh, the baby stuff is really well priced as well. Sorry, I didn't read out the prices on a lot of it. Well, all of it. But the jumper was £3. The shirt was £4.50. This little sweatshirt was £7. And then the gloves were £1. And then I also picked him up some socks because... We need socks all the time. Like we lose them, we can't find them, they're too small, they don't fit properly, so we're stocked up on some socks. And then last but not least, there's a candle in here, which I think Connor chucked in at the checkout because he's got some weird obsession with candles at the moment. Oh, it's in the scent clean cotton and it just smells like clean washing. Oh, that smells really nice. I can't wait to burn that. So yeah, that is everything I picked up. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you are new and head over to my Instagram as like I said, I'm a lot more active over there. I have lots of hauls and vlogs and things coming your way so stay tuned for them. And yeah, thanks so much for watching this video and I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.